we gather here today for our 2016 Waimea Cherry Blossom Heritage Festival. It's a very good opportunity for us to enjoy the beautiful cherry blossoms and activities. We are grateful for Amida Buddha who gave us this occasion. And thank you to all who prepared for this festival. Let us sing Vandana Antisarana. That means we take refuge in the Buddha, Buddha's teachings, and gathering to listen to the teachings. Namo tasa bhagavato arahato samma sambudasa homage to him did The supremely awakened one, Buddha Saranam Gachami, Dhamma Saranam Gachami, Sangha Saranam. Gachami, I go to the Buddha for guidance. I go to the Dhamma for guidance. I go to the Sangha for guidance. Namo Amida Buts, Namo Amida Buts, Namo Amida Buts, Namo Amida Buts, Namo Amida Buts. Thank you very much. The Reverend Nishingo Furusawa, thank you. Arigato, I want to bring on my friend and the reason this, this wonderful festival takes place every year for the past 23 years the heart and soul behind the Cherry Blossom Festival here in Vaimea, Miss Roxy Walchen. I should say Mrs. Roxy Walchen. Aloha. Aloha. Wow, that was great. I want to thank each and every one of you for coming to our 23rd annual Waimea Cherry Blossom Heritage Festival. You know, just to give you a little bit of background of the history of the Cherry Blossom Festival, it started 24 years ago by having um, some talk being done at Church Row Park, where the Kupuna were really worried about this proposed uh, bypass road they were going to build. And they were concerned that if they built this bypass road, no one would ever pass through Waimea Town. So in order to preserve their beautiful historic town, they decided, you know, we need to do a cherry blossom festival. And the cherry blossom trees were in bloom that year. And that's how this festival was born. At that time, the director of parks and recreation was Mr. George Yoshida, Mr. James Ko Tohara, who was the kupuna at that time, contacted Mr. Yoshida and said, hey, we want to do a cherry blossom festival. The following year, it was, put on the, it was put on the books, and the following year, the first festival was born. 400 people gathered at Church Row Park with eight, 
eight uh, tents and a flatbed truck for a stage. And today we have seven venues. We need buses to transport people from site to site. We have upwards of between 40 and 50,000 people that attend the event every year. And we have return visitors that come from all parts of the world to attend this festival. And they schedule their vacation around this time. So in actuality, this festival grows because of all of you. So thank you so very much. Have a great day. And please take care. Aloha. Is she the cutest? I used to be skinny like her long ago and far away. Actually, I never liked her. And now I have a, the extreme great privilege of introducing to you our mayor for the county of Hawaii, our wonderful mayor, the handsomest mayor ever, Billy Kinoy. I can say that. He's my buddy boy. And he's my mayor. Aloha. Everybody, how about a round of applause for the incomparable Auntie Penny, Kili Vredenberg. Thanks, Auntie Penny. Whether you come through Waimea on a Christmas parade or you're here at the Cherry Blossom Festival celebrating this not only incredibly beautiful community, but a community rich in history, you're always going to hear Auntie Penny's voice and you know you're in Waimea. But uh, mahalo, everyone, for coming out. Mahalo to the vendors, people preparing food. Aloha to our kupuna, our history, our seniors. Uh, aloha to our families. Uh, me and my wife back there at Takako, wave your hand. Been together 25 years, and uh, I met her on the East Coast, and she was from Japan. So when we came here, came to Waimea, she goes, hey, Cherry Blossom Festival. We got to make sure we don't miss every year. And driving over from Volcano this morning, she goes, hey, you think our cherry blossom tree we implant still growing or what? I go, I hope so. Um, but we're here to celebrate culture, celebrate each other. Um, I want to say aloha to Governor David Ige for coming to Hawaii Island. How about a round of applause, you guys, for our governor? Come visit Waimea and celebrate this. I'd like to say aloha to our state representatives uh, from Hawaii Island who are here this morning. Representative Cindy Evans and Representative Cliff Suji. Aloha, you guys. My partner in the Hawaii County Council, Councilwoman Margaret Willie. <laughs> no, i just kidding. She's my best friend. Do people don't know that. We like best friends. No. Uh, but to everybody in our community, mahalo to Roxy and her wonderful staff. Is Bert here? See Bert and Marty. These guys, oh, they're over there. How about a round of applause, you guys? Bert's over here. Every event, every festival, Kohala, Kau, Hilo, Kona, Puna, Waimea, they're always there to support through culture, through celebration. I know we have a couple organizations to honor, uh, and we'll be honoring them throughout uh, this morning. So please, everybody, enjoy all of the vendors, all of the food. Enjoy each other. Enjoy this beautiful, special Hawaii Island Day here in Waimea. They make few places this beautiful in the entire world. And people ask, hey, on Hawaii Island, what's, what's the most beautiful place? I heard Kohala, Waimea, God's country. But I heard Kau, incomparable. The oceans of Kailua, Kona, the history of Keoho. You know, the, the majesty and liveliness of earth and Puna. You know, and uh, where we from? Antimedi, the liveliness of the earth. <laughs> no, living and breathing every day. And uh, you can't find that anywhere in the world. And just driving over this morning, three kids, get them situated. They're teenagers now. And when we started eight years ago, they were just these little kids. And now they're off running. Mom, Dad, we're going here, we're going there. And me and Takako driving over and the entire way, stopping at Mauna Kea and stopping and looking around and looking at each other and just realizing just how blessed and privileged and appreciative we are. But really, what makes Hawaii special is the people, the values, respect, compassion, dignity, kindness, aloha. And if we all just do continue to live that way that our kupuna taught us how to live, our children and grandchildren will grow up in the same special Hawaii. Very simple, it's filled with love and aloha. So mahalo to everybody who made today special. Take care, God bless, and mahalo.
I told you he's good looking. And yes, as he said, this island state is absolutely beautiful and God did create this wonderful state, but you gotta know he lives in Waimea. <laughs> just, just, just saying. And again, at this time, it gives me extreme pleasure to introduce to you the governor of this beautiful state of Hawaii, Governor David Ige. Aloha. Aloha. Uh, thank you. I'm so excited and honored to be here at the Waimea uh, Cherry Blossom Festival. Uh, I just wanted to let you know, uh, Don, uh, First Lady Don, really wanted to be here this morning, uh, but we had a couple events on Oahu. So uh, there's one advantage of being governor. I get to choose. So I chose to be in Waimea, and she's uh, on Oahu. So. So sorry, you guys got second string. But um, I, I'm really uh, honored to be here today to be part of this uh, festival. And I just wanted to thank all of you for creating such a spectacular day to celebrate uh, Waimea uh, and Cherry Blossoms. Uh, I do have a couple of certificates. Are we presenting this? Yeah. Um, just wanted to recognize the Waimea Bon Yu Kai Bonsai Club on their 60th anniversary, bon, Bob Mail. Um, I am told that they were instrumental in um, first propagating the cherry blossoms that named this festival a number of years ago. Yes. And so I just wanted to uh, provide, on behalf of Lieutenant Governor Sutsui and myself, um, a certificate just honoring the 60th anniversary of the uh, Bonsai Club. Thank you for being here. And then I do have a, um, a commendation for the Waimea Arts Council. Paul Burt? Bryant. Oh, Bryant. Paul Bryant, excuse me. And again, the 40th anniversary um, of the Arts Council, who does so much to bring uh, culture and arts uh, celebration here to Waimea. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. I just wanted to uh, thank all of you for being here as well. I'm truly honored and excited and uh, hope that uh, this will be a truly successful celebration. So thank you. God, I love this job. I get to smooch the governor <laughs> and the mayor. And I'd like to at this time introduce to you another privilege of having him with us, Japan Council General Yasushi Misawa, sir. Good morning and aloha. aloha. It is a great honor and a pleasure for my wife Yoko and uh, me to be here to participate in the 23rd Waimea Actually Blossoms Heritage Festival. It is first time for us to come to Waimea and we are very excited, and we are looking forward to seeing the cherry blossoms and also the many activities here. I think uh, we were very fortunate because I was told that the uh, cherry blossoms the blooms this year very good and best, which are prettiest so far. But uh, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't have any chance to see before coming here. There, therefore, I am very excited still now, and looking forward to seeing the blossoms. As you may know, the cherry blossoms is uh, one of the uh, the national symbol of Japan, uh, which is near and uh, which are dear and near to my uh, our hearts, and. Uh, uh, in commemoration of the 100th anniversary of, of the planting of cherry blossoms in Washington on Pot Potomac Rivers, I have heard that several cherry blossom trees were also planted here in Waimea 2012. And with the help of many volunteers, uh, the trees have taken root and growing slowly but steadily. And much like the deeply rooted friendship between our two nations, it is my hope that the 
the trees will continue to grow strong and blossom as more and more with each passing year. I would like to congratulate all the, uh, uh, the organizers as well as the many sponsors, entertainers, some of whom have come all the way from Japan, in addition to the numerous volunteers for planting, organizing this much anticipated event each year. I wish you all successful and most memorable uh, festivals. And uh, I wish you enjoy it very much. Thank you very much. Arigatou gozaimashita. And now I'd like to bring up our councilwoman, Representative Margaret Willey, who represents our side of the island. Aloha, Margaret. Welcome and aloha. Um, I want to talk about how special Waimea is. And it's not just this event, but Waimea, through its history, has been an extraordinary place. And I'll explain. Um, at this time, many of us have given thought to what's going on around the world and faced with the prospect of refugees coming into the nation and with the fear of the possibility of an extremist finding a way into the nation. Given this fear, we tend to narrow the circle of who is us and how to protect us from them, the outsiders. These are uncertain times. When such thoughts come to mind, consider the extraordinary history of Waimea as a place of inclusiveness and tolerance. It is in the not so distant past, Waimea was remarkable in the sense of a community reaching across social and ethnic barriers that separate us from outsiders. Think of Waimea when our island was Destination X, when tens of thousands of Marines were stationed in this community training for battle against Japan. Yet who then populated Waimea? Who were the farmers who nurtured these young Marines? The answer is largely some 400 Japanese American farm families. American soldiers, Hawaiians, local Pony Paniolo cowboys, and Waimea's Japanese community managed to bridge a potentially wide cultural and social gap in this community and did so with kindness and consideration. At that time, even in other parts of this state, those with Japanese ancestry were feared and some placed in internment camps. This happened to a few on this island, but for the most part, with the help of all the people on this island, Waimea's Japanese Americans remained an important part of the Waimea community Ohana, even while America and Japan were fighting. So today, how can we encourage reaching across social and ethnic barriers and rise above our fears and apprehension, regardless of where others are from? One way to be sure is to be part of Waimea's Cherry Blossom Festival, with its focus on our community as part of the Asian Pacific Ohana, and by reaching out to our fellow Waimea residents, whose paths we might not otherwise cross, as well as to visitors and together celebrate moments of joy and aspiration of peace around the world. I encourage you each to strike up conversations with others here at this event whom you do not know and learn about them. Share our mutual aloha for the beauty of nature, beginning with a single cherry blossom, and share our gratitude for this extraordinary event in this extraordinary community. Um, and lastly, I just want to mention a couple other events. We're having a Hanami ceremony over at Minukioli Park, which many community organizations in my office have worked to get going again. Um, so now we have a soccer park there, and we have um, cherry trees where some of the kids from the soccer teams are going to be planting two of them today. And at noon, we have the cherry pie contest with all the senior clubs in this district, and there'll be samples and um, requests for donations. And so come over to Church Row at 12 or 1 if you can. Thank you very much. It's an honor to serve you. And right now we're having our dedication ceremony and I'd like to call up our mayor for presentation yes you <laughs> you still mayor babe 
I love Auntie Penny Ken. She can make you like come over here, hurry up, pull your cheek and your ear and make them seem so nice. But, mahalo Auntie. Um, yes, we are proud to present two certificates on behalf of the County of Hawaii. Um, as the governor has already recognized, I'd like to call them both up. Yesterday we in Honau now, we're dedicating the new rodeo arena down in South Kona. And Billy Bergen came from Waimea and told this incredible mo'olelo and story and history of the cowboys in the area. It was so beautiful. And today we honor another mo'olelo, the 60 years of our bonsai club and 40 years of our Waimea Arts Council. So I'd like to present this on behalf of the people of the county of Hawaii. And this is to the Waimea Bonyu Kai Bonsai Club. Bro, I see looking at you, you pointing at the Aragai. I know this yours. <laughs> no, no, I just kidding. Give me a hug. Give me a hug. <laughs> he said pointing. I like no but it's like I did hundreds of these. Trust me, you're the guy on this one. No, no, no. Just kidding. Um, but gotta read them just a little bit so we know the story. Yeah, not reading them just to read, but uh it's important that everybody when we honor, we know why. Um so you're celebrating your sixtieth year in twenty sixteen. The Waimea Bonyu Kai Bonsai Club has participated in this festival every year. The late Isami Ishihara, the club's longtime sensei, propagated the very cherry trees planted in Church Road Park that eventually became the signature landmark for this annual festival. We thank the members of the Waimea Bonyu Kai Bonsai Club for your efforts to share the history, the culture, and the significance of the blossoms as we celebrate Hanami at the Waimea Cherry Blossom Heritage Festival, awarded this sixth day of February. Congratulations. Thank you so much for your hard work. And please mahalo all of your board of directors and volunteers for us. You can hold on. You go hold on, just. Oh, sorry, Bob. Sorry, Auntie Penny, she goes, I can hold them for you if you like. I was like, sure, Auntie. But to our uh, Waimea Arts Council, on behalf of the people of Waimea, and the County of Hawaii in grateful recognition of your contributions to the Waimea Cherry Blossom Heritage Festival. The Firehouse Gallery is the most visual project of the Waimea Arts Council, one of the state's oldest arts organizations made up of North Hawaii residents. The council is one of the original participants of the festival and every year their gallery represents and presents a cherry blossom theme art display. We thank the members of the Waimea Arts Council for their efforts, again, to share the history and the culture, and especially the significance of this Hanami at the Waimea Cherry Blossom Festival and its 23rd annual celebration. Thank you very much and congratulations. Thank you, Billy. Thank you, sirs. Oh, picture, photo up. Get out of the way. Guys, make those serious. Thank you. Thank you. I'd like to bring up my friend, Cindy Evans. Cindy and Clifton Suji, our representatives. Both, both very dear friends of mine. This one. Okay. Good morning and aloha. Aloha. You know, so many kind words have been said, and I won't repeat them, but I'll tell you, as a the House and the Senate, we've we have these certificates that we want to present to our two honorees, but I want to say that this festival every year picks an organization or an individual Thank to you. honor. And, you know, I think it's really important to point out these people who have been very committed to their passion in life. Um, as a legislator, we see so many organizations and individuals that that devote their life to something they strongly believe in. And you look at the history of the Bonsai Club and the Arts Council and you realize someone had a vision, they started it years ago, and then people kept picking up uh, after them and kept continuing. And they really believe in this, so I think it's great that we honor them. And on behalf of Cliff and I and the State uh, House of Representatives, and as well as the Senate, unfortunately, Rep uh, Senator Lorraine Inouye wants to 
tell everyone hello and she's sorry she couldn't be here but you know for the senators and the representatives the Hawaii State Legislature wants to honor these people and the, their organizations so if you will please come and we're gonna give you these certificates and the words on the certificates are really similar to what you heard before so we're not gonna read the certificates but again you know as your community part of your community they they've added an awful lot to it and we're really grateful to them for what they've done so on behalf of the legislature we want to give you these certificates and honor you and then cliff did you want to say a word okay thank okay. you thank you very much just a few short words uh, uh i'm uh, very uh, humbled that you invited me to your cherry blossom uh, festival activity. This is the first one I've attended, but uh, it seems better and greater every year. We, yeah, I only noticed, uh, you know, a few minutes ago, this is one of the rare views, and if I'm right, you can see the two maunas, the, the, the peak of Mauna Kea and Mauna Loa, and the eastern sun coming over. But uh, it was a bit nostalgic for me as I drove up the, uh, the highway and passed Cherry Blossom Row. It was about, uh, I would say about a half dozen years ago, maybe 2011, uh, with a coordination uh, with the Waimea Lions Club, I believe. There was a tree planting ceremony and it was coordinated with the Japanese Consulate General's Office uh, in Honolulu the Waimea community, and also Mir Bilikinoi at that time, and uh, uh, the uh, Japanese consulate uh, representative on the Big Island, Art Taniguchi, myself, and two others, uh, you know, participated. And there's five trees over there. Uh, when I pass by, I think only one survive, you know, seems to be surviving. <laughs> oh, is that yours? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, okay, so when I go back with a check, you just assured me that five will all grow together and be nice tall trees and aged as I am. But thank you very much. Congratulations to all, and in particular the recipients and Representative uh, Evans. Would you like to say a few words about the presentation? We're good. We're done. Okay, so let's give, the, give our honorees a round of applause. Thank you.